first test clips with the GoPro Hero 8 Black 4K, 60 frames per second. Checking out how this feels. I think we're at the wide setting now. All right, this is test clip number two. This time we're at 2.7K. It's a weird resolution. I forget which one it is exactly. It's more than 1080, it's less than 4K. And we are, while it can shoot up to 120 frames per second in this uh, resolution, I brought it down to 60, so that way I could take advantage of the narrow. All right, so now we are at GoPro Hero 8 Black test clip number three. This time I'm at 1080 and 120 frames per second. Now at this resolution, this camera can go all the way up to 240 frames per second, which is very interesting, but I typically only need to get up to 120 frames per second for the kind of footage that I might want to slow down into slow motion. Plus, at 120 frames per second, that gives me the ability to switch from wide to linear to narrow. And that's something that I wanna be able to do. I like having that at uh, the 120 frames per second for 1080. So that's what this looks like. Although I'm not taking advantage of kind of the full use of all those frames, because I'm just kind of talking to the camera right now. But when I go down to slow motion, that's when I'll make a difference. So, just finished a run, I got home, I started downloading all the footage that I've shot over the past couple of days, and I took a firmware update. And in the firmware notes, it indicated that at 4K, there was now an option at 30 frames per second to shoot in the linear mode, which, not a game changer for me because I don't really like shooting at 30 frames per second, not for action stuff, but I think for some talking head kind of things, it might be interesting, so, can take a couple more clips here, get you guys a little bit more footage. Also, this is like another audio test, see how the audio does when the GoPro is at about arm's length away. And you can see what that 4K 30 frames per second setting really looks and sounds like. Hopefully this works, because then I'm thinking, then I can use the three different kind of default modes, or it gives you three like options, like standard, activity, and slow-mo. The slow-mo I like having at 120 frames per second at linear. I've been putting the activity at the two point something K and 60 frames per second with the narrow option that's available. And I kind of like that because then if I'm turning the camera around and looking out, that could work really well that way. So it's kind of like zoomed in a little bit or cropped in a little bit more for things that I want to show you without me in it. But then if I am talking to the camera like in the middle of a race, 
or in a situation like this, having the 4K 30, I think might be a pretty good option if I could get it at linear, which this is. So I'm pretty excited to see what this footage is gonna look like. I really like the idea of finally, and I think this is the first time it's been available on a GoPro 4K 30 in linear. Yeah, you're really good at cameras, aren't you? Yeah. You sure are. What's your favorite camera? I like that one. You like the GoPro Hero 8? Yeah. Do you like the GoPro Hero 8 or the GoPro Hero 7? The better? GoPro 8. You like the 8 better? Yo, what's going on?